It made sense in my head. <laughs> they prefer beef over lamb. Simple as that. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and today I want to show you how to make a great burger perfect for this time of year. It's what I call my Greek burgers and I'm also going to serve it with a feta tzatziki. It is so good, really flavorful, really bright, really fresh. Something a little bit different than your regular burgers that you may be used to making around the summer. Um, but I think it's really great, especially if you want to serve something a little bit outside the box but you still want to keep it kind of easy and simple like a burger. This is it. I'm going to make it indoor today on my cast iron skillet because I've had a lot of you ask if you, when I tell I make a burger or a steak or anything outside, you've asked if um, you can make it on the indoor, in your indoor grill pan or in your skillet. Of course you can. Let's get started with the ingredients. There's not very many. Good ground beef is essential here. I've got ground beef, I've got onion, garlic, lots of fresh herbs, mint, parsley, and oregano, lemon, some shredded cucumber that I have squeezed out of any excess liquid, plain Greek yogurt, crumbled feta, and you're going to need some salt. That's pretty much it, and then you'll need your toppings, um, however you like to eat your burgers. So, let's get started. I'm going to chop up all of my herbs really fine. The combination of parsley and oregano and mint gives you the most delicious, bright, fresh, burger in all of the land. And if you want to use lamb here instead of beef, by all means, go ahead and do that. It's going to be just as delicious, if not more delicious, um, because traditionally, you know, you wouldn't make something like this using ground lamb. I'm going to opt to use beef because everyone around me is more of a beef liker than a lamb liker. So, it made sense in my head. <laughs> they prefer beef over lamb. Simple as that. So I'm just going to chop my herbs really fine and then I'm going to add them to the ground beef. Now that my herbs are in, I'm actually going to grate my onion because I want a couple tablespoons of grated onion so that I don't have any large chunks of onion running through my burgers. It's almost going to be something that you, um, you can kind of taste it in the background but you don't really bite on it so it's kind of more of like a... Um, a scent rather than like a big chunk of taste of onion. This is good. You can see it comes out like a pulp and that's exactly what I am looking for. Usually about a quarter of a regular size yellow onion will do. And then I'm going to just grate a couple of cloves of garlic right in here as well. Nice healthy pinch of salt. And then I'm just going to mix everything together until it's really well combined forming my last burger. I already did three. You just kind of score the meat into four equal portions. You pull it together into like a ball like that. So it's like a giant meatball. And then I just flatten it with my hand and I just kind of work around it just like that. And you want to make sure you always make an indent in the center so that as it cooks and the burger shrinks and puffs up, it puffs up evenly and you don't have this like really weird dome on top of your burger. I've got my cast, cast iron preheating over about medium high heat. I'm going to crank it up even a little bit more. I'm going to wash up really quickly and while that preheats we're just going to make our sauce really quickly so that it can sit aside and marry and mingle before we make the burgers. All right, in my bowl with my shredded cucumber, hey I keep losing my garlic, I'm just grating some garlic. These are really small cloves. Listen, I'm going to have to go to my garlic distributor. I'm going to ask my finger too about these small cloves of garlic. Take forever. All right, that, a little zest of lemon, not much because I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in there. I just kind of wanted to get rid of the, uh, the zester. Pinch or two of salt, not too much because remember the feta is quite salty. Your Greek yogurt, and by the way, this sauce, good on everything and anything, just, just saying. I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon, and then I'll mix it all together before I add my feta, so that I can just add the feta at the very last minute, just so that I don't mess up those crumbles. I kind of want to keep some of them in larger chunks, but you see how good and fresh and delicious this looks? 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now that you have it mostly mixed, you add your feta, which is salty and delicious and fabulous. And if you don't want to add cheese, by all means, keep it out and then just fold it in. Get your burger in there. All right, these are only going to cook a couple minutes on each side, not long at all. The pan is really hot. So just keep an eye on them, a couple minutes on each side, take them out, bring them here. I grab my toppings and we build a fabulous burger. Are they cute or are they cute? Now I made small four ounce burgers. You can make six ounce, just get a, a pound and a half of ground beef and you will be good to go. You can serve this however you like. You can serve them as is on a side, um, like on a, on a beautiful spinach salad or wrapped in lettuce, whatever. But I love to be able to serve them in these little pitas. They're so delicious, nice and thin. Just, I'm telling you, it's just perfection. Let me give my spatula. Take one. Mm. Already salivating here. A little bit of my tzatziki. It's gonna be fabulous. A little bit of tomato. I do, I do like some tomato on my burgers, no matter what and some baby spinach. Now, ordinarily, I would put onion on it, but since I've got onion and garlic running through the burgers, I'm gonna keep it out. Now, we're just gonna give this a slice of roux. And look at that gorgeous sight. I know, I know. It looks incredible, and I can tell you, it's gonna taste even better. Mmm. It's so bright. So fresh. The feta is such a lovely addition. It's so salty. The herbs make this really incredible. It's just like a nice alternative to an everyday burger that's just gonna knock your socks off. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com. I thought I have something on me. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com to get the recipe. I hope that you make this this weekend because I really think that you're gonna love it. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.